Hi, it's The Wire. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Also, money1776.com, a free site. It's Saturday, <clears throat> April 15th, 2023. Let's talk money. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Nothing I say in this video, which has me teary-eyed uh, and, and coughing up front, should be construed as investment advice. Please think for yourself. I'm just sharing what has my attention at the moment. I believe generative artificial intelligence is a huge leap forward that's going to have a major impact on the economy. And I mean major. So <clears throat> I was on chat GPT. I believe I made a video earlier on chat GPT and I was very impressed with chat GPT. I was also on Google Bard a few weeks ago and Google Bard didn't really grab my imagination, right? It didn't at the time have the capability of chat GPT, right? And it's important because Microsoft, of course, owns a huge chunk of OpenAI, the company that came up with chat GPT, and Google is a competitor, <clears throat> right? Both of them are among the leaders in the cloud computing space, and that's very important. Well, let me just say, yesterday, I revisited Google Bard, right? I believe you can get it at bard.google.com. Um, it's Google's artificial intelligence search engine. And I asked Google Bard yesterday, <clears throat> you know, write a chapter with the following facts, right? Well, it spat out a chapter. Understand, you can write your own books if you string together the chapters using artificial intelligence. So I was reading the chapter it wrote, and I thought, this is interesting. It was better than I thought. Then I noticed at the top of the page, they actually offered two other versions of the chapter. So I clicked on the other versions and was astonished. Right, the chapter I read, the woman was wearing, let's say, a red dress. The second version of the fact scenario that I painted out had a different plot and had the woman in a black dress. Right, needless to say, the third version didn't even focus on the woman. The third version focused on the man she was talking to. So there I had three different possible book chapters with different plots. And it literally took me about 15 seconds to type in the search criteria. So in a few weeks, Google Bard has increased its capability exponentially. Understand, a year from now, the level of technology we have in artificial intelligence is going to be viewed as prehistoric. It's going to be viewed as basic. <clears throat> it's going to be viewed like you view cell phones before the iPhone. Right? Well, what I want people to do is to just understand what this means. As good as AI can write right now, it's going to write far better than most writers in three, four years. Right? Understand, too. Um, there are going to be subsets to cater to certain specialties. Now, already, 
according to reports, ChatGPT <clears throat> passed the bar exam. Right? Understand, you now have an interactive tutor. That person who you're paying $40 an hour to, to help your child get through school, well, now you can just get the software and have your child in front of a computer, talking to the computer. When cell phones first came out, <clears throat> you would see someone on the street. It looked like they were talking to themselves. If they were using a headset, then you realize they were talking to someone else. They were on the phone. Well, you're now going to have people having those conversations with their phone, right? There might not be anyone on the other end other than the chat GPT interface. So understand how cheap now the information has become. Just write down this website. <clears throat> it's Doximity.com slash docs dash GPT. Spelled out, it's D O X I M I T Y dot com slash D O C S dash GPT. So I'm on that site, right? They call themselves Docs GPT. And I asked the AI interface, and it's free, right? Understand, anyone can do this. This isn't a subscription service, right? I asked, how can I tell if I'm having a stroke? I thought, what are the kind of questions you can ask GPT to get some, you know, medical diagnosis <clears throat> from artificial intelligence, just to point you in the right direction so you can talk to your real doctor. I'm going to start to read to you what the machine spat back, right? Understand, folks, doctors are expensive. Your time is expensive. <clears throat> Here, I'm online just free of cost. I type in, how can I tell if I'm having a stroke? And the machine spat back. If you think you may be having a stroke, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. Common signs of a stroke include sudden numbness or weakness of the face, arm, or leg, especially on one side of the body, sudden confusion, difficulty speaking, or difficulty understanding speech, sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes, Sudden difficulty walking, dizziness, or loss of balance or coordination. Sudden severe headache with no known cause. Right now, folks, <clears throat> if I went to a doctor for this information, it would cost me who knows what. If I had a research assistant who I was paying $20 an hour to, and I said, hey, tell me what the sides are for someone having a stroke. They would probably come back in an hour with this information <clears throat> and I'd have to pay them $20. Here, it took me 10 seconds or less to type in, how can I tell if I'm having a stroke? And it's back back this. Now, if you go to the page, right, the doximity.com slash Docs dash GPT. You can have an ongoing dialogue with the page where you're asking about a host of medical symptoms for a host of problems, right? You could literally think, okay, I have a bad knee and how can I tell if I've torn a tendon or a ligament? What's the difference between tearing a tendon and a ligament? And you can have that conversation with this site all afternoon. Understand, too, this is the site today. Folks, these sites are learning, right, in six months based on the questions, based on the answers, based on 
the person following up and saying, well, what about these symptoms? This site is going to be much more advanced. So let's talk about investments. <clears throat> I know <clears throat> people want a targeted AI play. And I'll agree. When you invest in big companies, right, huge companies, the odds of them going up 3x, 5x, pale in comparison to a targeted play that has a smaller market cap, that's just getting funding together. <clears throat> but what I want people to do is to understand how the healthcare sector of the economy is growing by leaps and bounds, how more and more doctors <clears throat> are getting online and are using cloud computing to store medical data. So you're talking about a growing part of the economy, probably growing too much. Just think of your own healthcare costs, your own health insurance costs, right? And you're talking about them increasingly using AI and you're talking about patients or customers trying to figure out what symptoms they have, right? Well, <clears throat> just consider the fact that Google, one of the giants in cloud computing, the same people behind <coughs> Google Bard, right? The same group, the same group behind typical search engines, the same group behind YouTube, where many of you are watching this video, the same group behind autonomous driving technology that's been tested in Phoenix. In other words, if you believe we're on the eve of robo taxis, Google is on the front lines of that technology. Just understand that Google is leveraging its crowd, its cloud computing capabilities, and it's a giant in the space, to further a platform called MedPalm2. That's M-E-D-P-A-L-M, the number two, right? And understand, this is the kind of technology where once the medical community gets on board, right, once a doctor starts using Google databases, <coughs> there's going to be some stickiness to that relationship because literally people's lives are on the line, right? Understand too that Microsoft, the company behind ChatGPT, a company already with an ownership interest in open AI, a company already on the forefront of generative artificial intelligence, is itself, right, marketing an Azure A health bot <clears throat> for the healthcare space. In other words, folks, Artificial intelligence, as is evident when you go to the Docs GPT website, is already deeply embedded and spreading in the healthcare field. Right? And so, in a world where C3.ai uh, is rumored to have, at least according to one short seller, accounting problems. And keep in mind, I like that company, right? They're in the AI space. They're doing a lot of great things, but there's an accounting concern. Investors who want AI exposure, as well as a company with diversification, have some amazing choices and already have access to the most sophisticated cloud computing platforms, right? Google, Microsoft, right? That's Google Bar, that's ChatGPT. Now Amazon, and keep in mind, Amazon Web Services 
is probably the industry leader in cloud computing, right? You know how well Amazon handles cloud computing if you have used Amazon's website, right? Amazon has a toolkit <clears throat> for those interested in developing artificial intelligence chatbots. Folks, if you want in an artificial intelligence, follow the leaders in cloud computing. Follow the giants who you know, who are already diversified, right? Google is about to have the NFL direct TV package for YouTube TV, right? Now, here again, I agree. Big companies really can't grow as fast as small companies. But aren't you reassured by the fact that the company is big with diversified income streams? So, as they said in the 60s, as the Who famously said, the new boss, same as the old boss. All I'm saying is as you venture into C3AI and other artificial intelligence companies, as you wait for OpenAI to become a publicly traded company, right? look at who's investing in OpenAI, Microsoft. Look at what Google is doing in the artificial intelligence healthcare part of the market. Look at what Amazon is doing. Right? Those companies have the inside track right now in the artificial intelligence sector. Let me know what you think. If you have AI plays that you want to discuss, if you have AI websites that you want to share with the public here, I hope you do so in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.